Um, both my films that I've done, they, I did it basically within my backyard, my friends, my family, my students, even the crew members, most of them, uh, my friends, my students. And the story setting is basically some, a story that I grew up with, like a monastery situation, Bhutan, the location wise, I'm quite familiar with. Now this is a big departure uh, from that. Although I grew up in India, Indian culture is so vast. And um, especially uh, elements such as Bharatanatyam or Indian classical dance and music is just another world. It's not a simple world. Mm, so I am very nervous in embarking to this uh, journey. I'm using, at last, I have actually uh, real actors. Both my films I've worked with, they're all non-actors. So this is going to be different, I think. This film that I'm doing is uh, very much inspired by uh, my love for this uh, specific dance, the Indian classical dance, um, Bharatanatyam and uh, Mohini Atyam, I think, and Odissi and many other classical dance. I've always loved watching them. And, uh, I've, and also, when I go deeper into the uh, Indian classical dance, just not, I mean, not that I went to school or anything like that, but reading about them, then I realized that they were not just uh, ordinary dance. They had so much, not only a story, but a philosophy. It's almost like a, a spiritual path. It is a spiritual path, actually. And um, it's just so much depth and width and breadth. Um, and um, I've always wanted to make a film that has an element of uh, Indian classical dance. And this, has, this desire has been always there for a long time. But, uh, you know, you need a good story to, as a medium to deliver this. So this only happened about two years ago when I read um, many uh, short stories written by Indian authors. Uh, many of the stories inspired me uh, with this story. I don't know what it means to Tibet. Because spiritual Buddhism path, you know, the philosophy, Buddhism, spiritual path is one thing. And then there's a Tibet and Tibetan culture and the Tibetan uh, civilization as another. These two are kind of a separate thing. It's important that people realize China always had a very strong Buddhist um, tradition and Buddhist thinking, even way before Tibet had. So it's not surprising that Chinese are beginning to actually come back to almost like their uh, root of thinking. In fact, um, uh, Buddhism is uh, much uh, one of the closest um, uh, thinking system to China than many um, other thinking system that uh, China has adopted. Uh, of course, Taoism, Confucianism is a uh, inborn, you know, Chinese um, culture and tradition. But beside that, Buddhism is one of the most important pillars of the Chinese thinking. You know, I think the Bhutanese cinema is at home. There's so much love for anything, you know, 
you know, uh, it has a very uh, important inter entertainment value. And the fact that it is a Bhutanese own entertainment, yes, there is so much um, demand, I think, and love for it. There are people who also are aware that the Bhutanese cinema is strongly influenced by uh, Bollywood cinematic uh, culture, uh, but uh, that's almost inevitable. Um, I think it's important that young Bhutanese filmmakers um, try to tell the story in a Bhutanese way. And this is something that uh, young filmmakers in Bhutan has, uh, should not forget. Uh, because uh, already, you know, the film, the medi medium, the film medium is so imp uh, powerful that already, not only the filmmakers they write the film as uh, Bollywood way, but even the you know day-to-day -day life, people think and act and talk like Bollywood way, and this could sometimes, uh, this can be sometimes worrying. Um, I only want to say that um, at the end, if you, if people want a good film, at the end of the day, it is always up to the general audience. If they don't demand good film, the good films are going to go down. So, you know, it's easy to sort of criticize big producers and Hollywood and Bollywood filmmakers for making bad films, but actually at the end of the day, I think it's the audience who, you know, if there's no demand, there's no supply like that. So I would tell the audience, please uh, watch good film. I don't know whatever that means.